Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the lecture series of Informatica Data Quality Management. Today in this video, we are going to learn about parsing transformation in IDQ. So to begin with my uh, practical, before we understand that what is basically parsing and how it is used in your IDQ, Informatica Data Quality Developer Tool. So, to begin with, what is parsing? Parsing is a technique in layman language. Parsing is a technique which is used to break a sentence into a parts or we call it as components and to describe the role of each and every component or part of that particular sentence. For example, if I say a plus b is equals to c so what will i do i will do a parsing on this particular expression a plus b is equals to c and break it into the parts so when i bring break it them into the parts the each part of a expression is called as token so all the complete expression is broken into tokens to understand that what each token plays the role in the sentence. Similarly, I am going to do the same concept in IDQ to develop the meaning of each and every sentence in syntactically and semantically nature. Okay, so I, I, parsing is one of the most important transformation used in IDQ. It is the core function of an E data quality tool uh, here we are using developer so it is parsing is not only used in informatica it is used in all other data quality tools which are available why because they provide us a very rich functionality to handle the complex patterns so for example if i want to split my email id i can break it very easily using parsing i want to split my address column into the particular parts i can do that using the parsing i want to find out the names a full name or i want to find out the first name middle name and last name from the full name column i can do that using parsing so it provides us a very important feature to handle the complex patterns and understand what they actually mean what the part of each pattern or what the token of each pattern actually means Right. Now, in case of uh, IDQ or I call it as developer, in case of developer, there are two types of parsings. The very first one is called as parser transformation. And this transformation is used or it is using the token sets or regular expressions or reference tables to parse the data. I repeat. The parser transformation is using the concept of token sets, regular expressions or reference table to break the data into parts or to break the particular sentence into its components. Now in under parser transformation, we are having two types. One is called token based parsing. Second is called parsing using reference table. In case of token based parsing, we use the concept of token sets and a regular expression to split the data and in case of your reference table we use the concept of reference tables which we create in idq to break the data or to validate the data the second type of transformation which is available under parser is called pattern based transformation it is also a part of your parser transformation in this we have two major concepts one is called your label data Second is called your tokenized data. So for a particular sentence, we generate two things. One is label data and the tokenized data. For to get the label data and tokenized data, we use the concept of labeler transformation. So whenever I want to do pattern based mm -hmm. transformation, I need another transformation along with that. That is called your labeler transformation. Now to understand both the types of parser transformation and pattern based transformation, let's do the practical coming back to my developer window i'm going to use the data which is already imported into my folder 
and that data is employee underscore new. So this is my data which I'm going to use. And if I run the data viewer of this data, you can see in this data, there are basically five columns and seven rows. So it is going to show me the output. So here you can see there are five columns and seven rows. Now there is a column called as full name on which I want to do the passing transformation. So the goal of this particular lecture video is that I want to split my full name column into first name and last name. So this will be done using the parser transformation in IDQ. So let's begin that. I'm going to work on this data only. So for to create a transformation, I need to create a mapping. Going back to my folder, I'll click on folder and new and then I'll click on mapping. I'll give a name to my mapping called as parser underscore mapping. Click on finish. So here is my parser mapping. It's opened up. Now the very first task of parser mapping is to bring your source data. So I'll bring my employee underscore new into the mapping in the read mode. So it's here. Now you can see all the columns are there in the read source data. Next step is to bring your transformation. So I click on add transformation and bring the parser. Okay. And the type that I'm going to use is token parser. Basically, there are two types, token parser and pattern-based parser. But the first practical is based on token parser. I'll click on finish. So here's your parser. Now, uh, as I have told, already told you that in this video, I want to split my full name column into first name and last name. So to work on this column, what I do is I'll just bring this column, drag and drop to the input port of the parser. So it's done, right? Next step is to configure your parser. So I'll just click on this and click to the properties. Go to the strategies because I want to build up a new strategy or a new method based on which this parser is going to work. So I'll go to strategy and add a new strategy here. So here comes the pop-up. On this window, I'm going to give a name to my parser. So parser underscore full name is the name of my parser. I'm going to give the input as my full name input column. Rest, all the things will be remain as untouched. And I click on next. Now here there are two options. First is using token set. Second is using reference table. The first practical will be based on token set. So I'll keep on selecting the token set and click on next. Here I give a name to my token set. So I say token underscore full name is the name of my token set. Now, uh, as you can see, we are having two definitions of token set. One is token set individually and the second is called regular expression. Now, I am going to choose which in which situation that is very important. See, whenever you know that your input column is going to return you one output column, in that case, I am going to use the token sets. So token sets are basically the expressions which are worked only on the single output column. So they are meant only for the single output column when you know that your output is going to be only a single output column. So when I click on choose, you can see there are some inbuilt token sets and the regular expression which are already created for these values. For example, uh, for credit card, MasterCard, if I, have a, if I have a credit card which is of MasterCard, uh, for this, there's a token set which is already created. Similarly, you have a, for credit card visa, we have a token set which contains this regular expression and so on. Right. 
uh, for number normal number this is the token set for a uh, national id right this is the token set for national id india we have token set this right so for every input value we have some regular expression which is already created in the token set now there is a very common question which is coming in the mind of the students and the people that what is regular expression i am again and again speaking about regular expression so what is a regular expression regular expression is actually an expression which is used to make the input given by the user understandable to the computer system or if i want that my computer system should understand what the user is telling them what is user giving as an input to him then in that case we basically convert the high level language into low level language or we basically write an expression which is common for all the inputs given by the user for example whatever name i enter into the system for that name there will be a common regular expression based on that particular input right so how do we create a regular expression that is the question now there are multiple video lectures available to you on regular expression set but just to understand how the regular expression are created i will be taking an example here i'll just cancel this out because we are not going to use token set i'll just give you an example for the same let's suppose your name is rahul space kumar and there is space and there is a value 98 now for this input what will be the regular expression the regular expression in this case would be capital a to capital z why i am writing capital a to capital z because rahul in case of rahul it starts from capital r so to represent capital r i am using a to z right then for the next value i am using small a to z right then there comes a space so for that backslash s then for capital k again we are going to use capital a to z for rest of the letters we we'll use small a to z then this is again space so backslash s and for numbers we are going to write 0 to 9 so this is way how we write the a regular expression for any given input entered by the user so let's now write a regular expression for the full name column so as i have told you the there are two things one is token set and second is regular expression token set is for the one column output and for regular expression or when i want that my output is of two or more columns in that case i'll be using the regular expression So click on regular expression. Click on choose. Now here we are already having built-in regular expression that is called parser uh, email address to split your email address into multiple columns. Now for full name, I'll add a regular expression. Click on add. Click on add, and you can just write a name to your regular expression. Just full name underscore parser. right so this is a regular expression which i am going to create for full name column and its description it splits the column into first name and last name okay and second next now i need to mention the number of output columns for this regular expression i know a full name is having two values first name and last name so the output column will be 2 right now uh, here in the second box i need to create a regular expression and in the third box i can enter any of the input data to test my regular expression so let's let's first write the test uh, input data as my testing regular expression and at the top i'm going to create a regular expression for this set of input data 
I repeat this regular expression is not common for this data. It will be general for all the input names. So I'm going to create a regular expression for this. First of all, your round brackets inside the round brackets, you use square brackets, right? And here you write capital A to capital Z. Now, when I write capital A to capital Z, you can see it is covering making my A as in yellow color. That means this A to Z is a particular regular expression to identify the first letter as the capital letter. Next, for rest of the word of first name, I'll use small a to small z. Right? Now, you can see it is covering the second uh, character of my name. But for the rest of the character, I'm not going to write here a to small a to z again and again. So to cover all the rest of the letters of variable length, I'm going to just write here plus. Okay. So plus is going to cover all the values of a to z, small a to z of variable length. Right? So this is how it has covered Amanpreet, the complete yellow word. Now the next after Amanpreet we are having space. So I'll just put backslash s for my space. Next is your core. So for core, k is capital. I'll again use round brackets. Inside round, I'll use square brackets. Capital A to capital Z. It has covered k and then I use small a to small z it has covered a and for rest u r i'll just simply write plus now to end my now to end my uh, expression i should always write the dollar so whenever i write dollar my system understands that there is no value after uh, this particular expression which has to be evaluated later on. So then I just click on finish. Now I'll just select my regular expression and click on OK. Right. And now here I'm going to create the two outputs. So I'll click on new. Just select this. F name and add a new output. L name. Click on OK and you click on Finish. So you can see two outputs are being created in the parser that is F name and L name for the column full name. Right? Now the next task is to create the expression transformation for this output to be seen by us. So expression transformation right now for this i'm going to just connect my eid to the expression bring my input column name to the full name uh, to the expression bring my first name to the expression bring my last name to the expression right so this is done i'll just save this and i run back my expression as data viewer so whenever we run the data view, it's mean debugging your transformation. Okay. So when I see my output, I can see that my data has yet not been splitted. So what is the problem? Problem is still there. If I go to my partial and I go to the properties, I go to the strategies and I expand my strategy. If I go to the properties of the strategy, there is a value called as input join character and output join character. I'll just expand this by clicking on the down arrow. And you can see there's a delimiter used by us, that is space. What is happening? It is joining the, it is taking the input as space. And instead of splitting the data, it is again joining the data with the space delimiter. So what I do is I will not use any kind of delimiter here. So I'll just uncheck the space. I'll not use any kind of delimiter and click on OK. Done. 
I'll just save it back. Run my expression. Data viewer again. And here you can see your full name column is split into first name and last name column successfully. So I hope this transformation of splitting the data full name column into individual columns using parser transformation is clear to us. Right? Now one thing I would uh, want to tell you a new concept here. Whenever I go to the parser, you can see uh, if I go to the strategies, I'll just expand the strategies uh, by just clicking on this regular expression, right? And this is the regular expression. And again, if I go to choose and you, you, you get this window. Now here you can see that whenever I clicked on regular expression for all the input for all the different uh, processes, I need to create a regular expression again and again. So this is a local regular expression. It is not a global regular expression. I cannot use this first name, full name parser, which I just created right now, full name parser regular expression into the another mapping of parser, or I cannot reuse this regular expression in any of the other mapping later on. Right. So because this is a local parser transformation, regular expression, which I just created for this particular mapping. Now, if I want to create a global regular expression in Informatica data quality, I can do that also. So for that, what we'll do is we will simply go to the folder. That is your folder. Right click and go to new and go to the option called as content set. So with the help of content set, we can create a reusable token set or a reusable regular expression, which can be used by us in any of the mappings later on. So I just mentioned the content, content set here. So I just write here, uh, parse or I say full name underscore regular expression click on finish right then I'll just go to the content option here I'll click on regular expression and I'll click on add I'll just mention the regular expression which I want to create so full name underscore regular underscore expression click on next mention the two ports right you can just write your regular expression here a to z and then small a to small z then plus backslash s capital a to capital Z and small a to small z and then plus and then in the end we mention the tone. So this is for the this particular testing data. It could be for other data also. Any data you want to add. So for Rahul Gupta it's covering you want to enter Manish Purana, it is entering. So this, this regular expression is common for all the text input you want to give and click on finish. So you get this regular expression in your uh, content set for all the global mappings. Click on save. Done. So next time when I click on recreate the regular expression or uh, let's suppose I go back to my mapping. I create a new transformation parser transformation parser parser select it okay keep a token parser finish it so where you have to parser connect your input full name column 
to the parser for the input go to the properties of the parser go to the strategies add a new strategy give a name give the input column keep it pressed and checked go to next use the token set as a parser go to next use the regular expression go to choose and here you can see there is already a regular expression which is created for the full name column and this was the regular expression which we just created few minutes back using the content set and it is available to us in the form of global expression to be used by us in any of the mapping parser mapping whichever we want to create in the future so it will be available in the folder of r right and we can use them any time any other time you want to so this is all about your regular expression and parsing we learned about what is parsing using token set and how do we create a global regular expression in the folder to be used by us later on so i hope you like this video please do comment and subscribe to the channel thank you have a good day